Dr. Dave returns with a couple more little stories for you. You know, before I, I did a video on D.B. Cooper and a thread that I read and people saying that there's no way he could be D.B. Cooper, so I left out some things there to help prove that he was, and I thought I'd share them with you now. But first I want to tell you, I'm, Halloween's coming up, so I'm planning on pulling out a picture of the Zodiac Killer's Halloween card and go over everything on there that Frank Morris told me about on the card and told me what it means. Now I've already done this before on a, on a previous video but I'm just going to do it again so it'll be nice and fresh for you 2018. One of the things that uh, I read in this thread was, was that they're saying Frank Morris didn't know anything about parachute jumping and I've already told you before that this guy trained him on how to parachute jump. There were two different ones that uh, that trained him and one of them uh, packed the parachute for him and ended up dead because of it. And the other one, I can't, again, I haven't been able to look up his name. I think it's Washington. I don't know. He, They accuse him of being D.B. Cooper. But the other thing that these people were saying on this thread was that Frank couldn't be D.B. Cooper because he didn't know anything about the 757 or whatever stupid airplane it was that he hijacked. Well, you read my book, My Dance with the Zodiac Killer. You'll see a little picture of here, of up here of D.B. Cooper and his hijacked airplane. There's a whole chapter in here on D.B. Cooper. And you can find it in the contents. <laughs> In that chapter, I tell you the, all the details about Frank and this this D.B. Cooper thing that he did. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was about 16 years old when I met him, 16 or 17, and he told me that he was planning this paratrooper jump. He showed me a Dan Cooper comic book and told me that he was thinking about using the name Dan Cooper, which all seems strange to me. Why don't you just use your own name? Well, sometimes when you jump out of a plane, you don't want people to know who you really are. He talked all around everything. He also told me that he had blueprints to that that uh, to that airplane that he jumped out of, and I tell you in my book where he got them. And he also said having blueprints is not enough. He said you you also have to know how to read them. And he talked about me having uh, taken drafting when I was in the eighth grade. I mean, this nutcase was st standing outside of my classroom looking in the window waiting for me to get out of class so he could kill me or kill some of my friends. Well, this I've showed you this before, but I'm going to show you again. This is our sweetheart lover of the Anglin brothers, Mr. Frank Lee Morris, before he had his facial surgery so he would look like D.B. Cooper. And he told me all about that, and that's in my book. You look over here, and I didn't get the copy on here just right, but it says right here, Occupational Skills. And it says Laborer, but down here at the end, it's cut off, but it says Draftsman. Okay? And what does it say right here? I'm pretty sure you can read that. Blueprint Man. Blueprint. He knew how to read blueprints. Okay, and he had the blueprint on the airplane, so that's how he knew how to get the the at the aft stairs down, and he knew how, what how many degrees the flaps had to be to slow fly, so that he could get out of the airplane without getting jerked in twenty different pieces. Anyhow, that's just a little bit more proof for you on the fact that Frank Morris did this DB Cooper thing. And again, the FBI was here in my clinic and told me they suspected Frank did that, but they couldn't find him to ask him about it. And they, if they asked him, they'd have to arrest him first, and he wouldn't talk after they arrested him anyway. He kind of went around in circles. I mean, the FBI don't want to catch the guy. I've told you why before. Also, people are saying that Frank couldn't have been the Zodiac Killer. Frank and the Anglin brothers couldn't have been the Zodiac Killer because they didn't have any history of violence. Okay, I have two things I'm going to tell you. Look at the two videos I have on the FBI files on these guys and you're going to see violence throughout their kidnapping, um, assault, battery, and that sort of thing. Maybe not a lot of it, but it only takes one. And think about this for a minute. 
how did they murder all the people they murdered and never got caught? Because they were so good at it that, that they couldn't get caught. That's exactly why Frank pulled off everything that he pulled off, killed all the people that he killed and never got caught, because he was so good at it. Well, when you're good at violence and good enough to not get caught, you know, of course your record is going to show that you don't have a, rec a big record of that. He does have a record, okay, but not a big record because all of the assaults that he did, he never got caught. And the reason was because he killed the victims, mutilated their bodies while they were still alive, and then dug a hole in the ground and buried them. And that's where they stayed. No evidence. Frank knew that if you don't break into a house, you don't leave evidence. So he would knock on the door, and when they opened the door, they would push their way in. Or, find, or wait till the person came out to catch them. That's just a little more information for you on this whole thing. I'm going to uh, see if I can't get a picture of that Halloween card and make another video of that as soon as I can so that you'll have it before Halloween. You guys, ask me all the questions you want down there in the... In the comments sections, I'm also on Facebook. I'm available to anybody who's interested in me. I do want you to understand, and I want everyone to understand, what happened with these four big cold case unsolved murders and, and mysteries, criminal mysteries, that were done by these three lovers right here, Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. They were D.B. Cooper, or Frank was, these guys helped him. That's all in, in this book. The Moonlight Murder of Texarkana, the Zodiac Killer, all four of those big mysteries. This guy right here, who is this guy right here, did them all. And it only makes sense that these four biggest cold case unsolved mysteries would be done by the same person because he had the intellect and the know-how because of all the experience that he had before of doing these kind of crimes. That's it for today. <laughs> Thank you.